Hi Libra, this is your reading with me for 13th to 19th of December. <laughs> so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours. Um, with me of course and the last thing I wanted to mention is that my intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results with are available of course on my website and these are handmade they're meditated with and sage super unique they are intention items for lots of different categories in those categories there are bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels crystals candles sage um, and just so many other items like pouches with spices which you're going to get put under your pillow or put around you so you can check out the review section at the bottom of my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com or have a little browse. All right. So there's, you know, there's items for so many different like intentions that um, you would want to manifest. But yeah, you can check it out for sure if you wanted to. Everything's always linked down below. OK, so Libra 13th to the 19th of December. Oh, so December here, we have Sagittarius season, obviously, in this week. I feel this week is one of patience with yourself because some of you want fast, fast results. You want things to happen very, very quickly. You want things to manifest very, very quickly. And it bugs you. It bothers you that things are not happening as fast as you would like it to. Yes, everything happens in divine timing. But also there's another key crucial aspect. The more desperate you are for something, the more it can slow down. Sometimes when you don't care about something, it tends to happen faster. Look, I, I didn't invent the universe, so it's, it's frustrating sometimes, right? When it's like, I wish I could change things for you so that the things that you want just happen as you want it. But you know what? That's just not how the universe works. So you have to be patient this week. Absolutely. Whether you're patient with uh, opportunities in your workplace, whether you're patient with the people around you, be it friends, family members, or even in regards to love, you may want things to be sped up drastically. You just have to be a bit patient. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you might quite literally be a patient from what I'm seeing, where you might have to, um, you know, spend a lot of time. Well, there's two things I'm seeing. You might spend a lot of time in lines, for example, this week so you may go to the you know a supermarket or you may have an appointment and you spend such a long time in a line and it just frustrates you and you're like oh my gosh you know when is it my turn the other thing here is that you might be a patient in the regards of you know some of you may be going to a dentist or a doctor or um, a salon or where else could you be going you may have an appointment for something right I mean you could literally have an appointment for anything and you may feel like things are just taking too much time. Uh, I, I, I see this happen, you know, some people um, go to get like their hair cut or whatever and they think, oh, it'll be like 10 minutes, but then it takes them two hours because maybe they do something else or just takes too long. It happens. So I'll just say this week, be prepared that things can be slow. You may send a message to someone and they may not respond to you for even more time. And you might think to yourself, why are they not responding? The key thing here is try to, the, the more desperate you are for things to move faster, the more it can slow down. So just, I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but just going with the flow is the best thing, you know, living in the here and the now, trying to just let things be as they are, because otherwise it's just going to frustrate you. It's going to anger you. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be fun. So there you go. Seven of Wands. Things are going to be unnecessarily slow this week. It's okay. I mean, I don't see bad energies, okay? That's the thing. Now, for some of you, this may already resonate. Let me know in that case. You know, I'd, I'd love to know what has been unnecessarily slow for you, um, even, you know, prior week. In, in, in a prior week, or if you're watching this in the actual week itself, definitely let me know. This is an energy that's kind of following a lot of people at this time. So, Seven of Wands, okay? It annoys you, irks you, but hey, look, you're getting through things. And I think at the end of the day, that's one of the most, most, most important things. Now, the other thing as well that I think is really, really significant um, is that the Two of Wands here shows some kind of travel. 
that you've had planned, that you've had booked, that can also get delayed, for example. I know this sounds like such a Debbie Downer of a reading, but actually I do see that there is some abundance, so let me, let me get there, okay? Let me get there. Not every reading, you know, can be amazing and wow and you know great there, there are things that happen you know that in this is life and I think that's very important so the two of wands here shows some kind of travel that you've had planned which can get delayed we see that from the two to the three of wands you spend a lot of time waiting this week you might even you know have to call you know a company and you're trying to get customer service and they take forever to get to you there could be like an hour-long wait on the phone these are the kinds of things I'm talking about you send an email to customer service for for whatever reason and it takes them like 48 hours 72 hours for them to respond to you these are the kinds of things i'm seeing now however i do see some abundance in regards to money so despite the fact that there are lots of delays and things like that going on some of you may have ordered parcels and they don't get delivered on the day that they're supposed to get delivered however money here seems to be pretty strong from what i'm seeing your finances seem to be pretty stable this week so you're not getting things taken away from you that is the most positive positive aspect that i'm seeing okay people are not coming in and taking your finances away from you they're not taking things away from you they're not purposely trying to do things like that um which i think is yeah like really significant the knight of wands with a page of swords here shows that there is someone who's interested in you romantically as well sagittarius so i will just let you know can you make this up no 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 there we go okay so yes yeah, someone's romantically very interested in you you're working very hard you're focused on working hard some of you may be studying so that's the energy i see there okay ten of pentacles you're looking towards you know the bigger picture of stability you're working hard towards those goals someone here wants to talk to you they feel very intimately attracted to you hence we see the lover's energy as well which flowed through after i mentioned that which goes to show that someone really does have very strong feelings for you but you know what's really kind of interesting about this they tend to be a bit slow to open up so then there's that, okay? Got the Empress, which is ruled by Venus. Now, we have a Venus retrograde that starts on the 19th, which is the last day of this week. So, Venus retrograde, okay? So this is about basically... First of all, it's about reviewing your finances. A lot of you are going to review your finances, where you are in your life. And also, it's about not overspending, which I know you might be like, but isn't it... Well, Venus is a planet of love. I mean, like, what are you on about? Venus also does control these aspects as well. So keep that in mind. It's about trying not to overspend. Some of you may feel a little bit spendy around this time. What do we have? We have the holiday season. A lot of people buy gifts. They host parties. They, they buy a lot of food and, and things like that you know, it's, it's, it's that time of the year where a lot of people do overspend and basically we have astrology and, and Venus telling us, be careful, be careful with your, with your spending if you don't want to overspend. You know, some people don't have a problem with overspending, but for example, if you know that that's going to be a problem, you know, it's just something worth, worth knowing. And also relationships, which are at a starting point, um, really need your absolute attention because this is, um, very, very important. Okay, any relationship which is at a starting point, for example, if you're dating or if you're in a very new relationship, it is about giving a bit more attention uh, and energy to it. Uh, even though, okay, if it's slow, it just goes to show you the other person needs to put more attention towards it. That's Venus. That's literally Venus telling, you know, that person that, look, you need to put more energy towards it. So let them also come to you. You know, I, I think that the main thing here is don't chase, but, you know, just make sure that you do give it its time and energy when, when it needs it. So love seems to be quite strong here, um, especially with the chariot and the two of cups. There's definitely an energy of love. You've literally got Venus, you've got lovers, you've got ten of pentacles, two of cups. So love is progressing from what I'm seeing. There does seem to be someone who is very attracted towards you and they want to initiate something. They want to make a plan. Again, I see some kind of travel that's being delayed. Okay, so some of you may want to see this person and it gets delayed or something comes up on their side. Ah, oh, it throws everything up in the air. So we've got here the King of Pentacles. You're focusing on stability, reflecting on your finances, trying to work hard with your finances, and also trying to grow your, well, your finances. Look, it's a good week. It's not bad at all. We've got the Hierophant. Hierophant's actually ruled by Taurus, and Taurus is ruled by Venus as well. So Venus is, Venus is, uh, is there for you. Venus is to do with love. It's to do with money. It's to do with pleasures of life. Um, and also beauty as well. And did we mention like something from each of those aspects? Venus is your planet. This, this, um, 
this week. If you wanted to meditate and meditate and visualize Venus, it can be very powerful to basically um, wood away some of those retrograde energies which uh, we see. But that's what I'm seeing here. Someone has a real interest towards you. I'm seeing very strong Taurus energy, very strong Taurus energy. We also have Gemini and Sagittarius energy as well, as well as Cancer. So I thought I'd mention some signs as some of you do like it when I mention that. Um, so yeah, continue to focus on, on what you've got going on. Some things are very, very slow. You can't change them or make them faster, but what you can do is, uh, just let it naturally progress and open up. And some of you are thinking about matters of the home as well, but there's definitely someone interested towards you and they're thinking about you. Oh yeah. Okay. Remember what I mentioned, relationships that are kind of at its, their starting point need your energy. Um, someone here, we have you ready to commit. Now, ready to commit is interesting because some of you are also ready to commit to sort of your finances and financial balance. We spoke a lot about money. We spoke a lot, a lot about that. So look, I know we have here the, the, the movement of fast. Fast is more so to do with the fact that you want things to be faster, right? You want things to move a lot faster. This week, things are slowing a little bit, right? So that can be quite frustrating. And I really feel here that in many ways, you're getting frustrated because perhaps somebody is very slow to move towards you. But there is someone here that is thinking a lot about you and then their thoughts are pretty fast, but their actual actions can be very slow. So that's just what I'm seeing here, okay? But I do feel like there can be someone here that wants, is, is kind of getting ready to, to commit basically. So that's what we have. By the way, the rest of the spread shows more slow energies. So even though you have fast, that's what you want. <laughs> Tarot is like, yeah, but things are slow. Okay, so extra emphasis on money. So that's what I have here for you, of course, Libra. If this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone. Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram if anyone's interested. I post short readings on there every single day. <laughs> Bye, everyone.